I do have an I'm interfaith joke. Oh, I actually have an interfaith joke. Here it is. A priest, a minister, a rabbi, and an imam walk into a bar. And the bartender looks up and says, what is this, a joke? <laughs> That's my only interfaith joke. That's all I got. Interfaith dialogue is so important in today's world because it's misunderstandings about religion that leads to conflict locally, nationally, and internationally. In the last 4,000 years, we've had less than 300 years of peace, and most of these wars were religious wars. If they can speak to one another over religious lines, it helps open the sort of dialogue that in the end, we hope, could lead to peace. Interfaith dialogue is so important because every person is our neighbor and we have a responsibility to each other to care for one another, to help heal the world. We have more in common than in contrast. It is about really coming and finding the common ground, the ground of peace. Everyone wants joy, everyone wants to celebrate, and we celebrate the same God. Why are we so divided? What's your personal story? What's your journey? What's your struggle? And how are we able to bring those questions together in a unified dialogue? Throughout most of our scriptures, whatever your faith may be, there's always a call to justice and to loving one another and to treating another with kindness and with mercy. And because other people are not free, I am not free. And just as Dr. Martin Luther King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Because it's only through freedom from oppression that a human being can act in a dignified way and fully explore their humanity. The challenge is religion, French Latin, religare, means the pieces fit. Shalom means the pieces fit. Each of us holds a little piece of that puzzle, given our traditions, given how we've come to find God. And if we are so arrogant as to think that we have all the answers, any one faith, then I think effectively what we're doing is trying to put God in a little box. Each of us on this planet, all 7.1 billion of us, has an obligation to make the pieces fit. We all have the capacity to rebuild and to help one another. What are you doing? Where do you stand? Hmm. What have you done this past year? And what will you do next year? In my opinion, religion is part of the solution. People of faith should come together and get to know one another to promote peace and justice in this world. Pastor Cecil L. Chip Murray, minister retired at First African Methodist Episcopal Church. I'm Rabbi Deborah Sheldon Fry, and I live in Los Angeles, and I've been a rabbi for three years. My name is Liz Munoz. I'm the rector of Trinity Episcopal Church on Melrose. Rabbi David Wolpe, Sinai Temple, Los Angeles. Rabbi Nicole Guzik, Sinai Temple, Los Angeles, California. Reverend Mark Whitlock, pastor of Christ Our Redeemer, AME Church, Irvine, California. I'm Imam Jihad Turk. I'm the religious director here at the Islamic Center of Southern California, located in Los Angeles.